frightening video from inside the Navy Yard the day Aaron Alexis killed 12 people. We're now learning what motivated him to open fire. Multiple indicators that Alexis held a delusional belief that he was being controlled or influenced by extremely low frequency. Tonight, new details about Alexis's days leading up to the shooting and what he etched on his weapons. The FBI, along with local officials, held a news conference this afternoon laying out exactly what Alexis did the day that he walked into the Navy Yard and shot 12 innocent people. In that video that you just saw, it shows him walking through the doors and then creeping through the hallways armed with a shotgun. Brad Bell joins us now. He's got the new details about that day. Brad. Yeah, Leon, we learned an awful lot about that horrible day today. We learned the likely motive. We learned more about Aaron Alexis's state of mind. And because of the images released by the FBI, we can see exactly how he carried out his rampage. The video is chilling. It begins with Aaron Alexis arriving in his rental Prius. He walks calmly into building 197 with a backpack. When you see him again, he has his gun at the ready as he stalks hallways seeking victims. He goes in and out of doors with his sawed off shotgun. The FBI video shows no active gunfire, but look closely at the last clip. Down the hallway, you can see people scrambling for cover as the gunman approaches. The FBI says those victims were chosen at random, and Alexis knew how his rampage would end. They accepted death as the inevitable consequence of his actions. The FBI also claimed today that the only motive for the shooting was Alexis's delusional belief that he was being controlled by extremely low frequency waves. On his gun, which we can now show you, they found these phrases, end to the torment, not what y'all say, better off this way, and my ELF weapon. In addition, a document retrieved from the electronic media stated, quote, ultra low frequency attack is what I've been subject to for the last three months. And to be perfectly honest, that is what has driven me to this. FBI Assistant Director Parlev says Alexis was loose in the massive building for an hour, longer than we'd heard before. She won't comment on possible background check mistakes, which gave Alexis that ID card you can see on his belt just below the gun. She says three days before the attack, he was the subject of a job performance issue, but that ended without violence. U.S. Attorney Ron Machen says the evidence tells an all too familiar story. Uh, was a mentally unstable individual, and he was able uh, to obtain a firearm uh, two days before he carried out an attack that was planned to kill as many innocent civilians uh, as possible. Now, the FBI released five clips, 31 seconds of video today. Sources tell us almost the entirety of the hour-long siege is on video and is part of the evidence. Also, the FBI is still at Building 197 collecting evidence. This investigation will go on for a long time, but today they said they wanted to answer some of the pressing questions about this attack. At FBI Field Office Washington, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Brad.